Hi everyone, this presentation is all about helping local business build a Facebook sales machine. So I'm going to take you through exactly how to set up your services to serve local businesses as a Facebook marketing consultant. Now how do I know all about this? Well, when I was starting out, I needed a way to build an audience fast and I learned how to do that online using Facebook ads. Further to that, now what, what's happened is that now people pay me to manage their Facebook advertising campaigns for them. So that may be um, online and offline businesses, but particularly it's mainly local area businesses who need somebody to market them on Facebook. So you can definitely start doing this kind of job straight away and bringing money in relatively quickly. And I'm going to run through some of the things that you need to know in order to do that. So um, if you want to find out more about me, my name is Victoria Gibson and you can find me at fbadqueen.com and you'll see uh, see there what, what I'm all about. But today, um, you know, I'm just excited to be running you through uh, some of the tools that you need, some of the strategies you need to apply to um, be really successful in marketing Facebook ads and Facebook marketing to you local businesses. So I probably don't need to convince you about why Facebook is such a great opportunity and why it's a brilliant platform for local businesses, but I will tell you that one of the some of the reasons why is that um, Facebook is really accessible, it's localized, and it has highly targeted advertising opportunities. All that data that Facebook collects based on all its users is available to advertisers. So this makes it the absolute perfect medium for local business to be marketing because you can target your ads via suburb, postcode or zip code. And that makes it a really, really powerful advertising opportunity because it's much more cost effective than other local area marketing opportunities like um, flyers and letterbox drops um, and local newspapers and things like that. Better still, it's even more engaging than those uh, those previous alternatives for local area marketing. So the other thing I love about it is that it's instant marketing. It doesn't really have any production um values or production expenses. You don't need to go and get anything printed or designed. You can design them. They're very easy to design and add headlines and copy to. So um, that's the other thing I like about it. You can get it up and running pretty much straight away. So that means your results that you're getting for your clients become um, a lot quicker and more tangible. And you know, within within a week or so, they're going to love you because they're going to see the results instantly. So that's another great marketing point. Now, what are the challenges? Now, the challenges have always been getting, particularly if you, you know, you keep your traffic on Facebook, it's getting the likes and the activity and the engagement on your Facebook page. Businesses can easily waste money on Facebook ads and, you know, we don't want that to happen, but either they may have tried them before and found that they're not successful um, and also they might not have any time to be able to do this either. It does take a bit of time to, to um, you know, learn the strategies and learn how to do it the right way and a busy business owner doesn't have that time. But that's where you can come in and offer that service to them and once you pick up a few clients, you're going to have a lot of systems across all the clients so you're going to be able to save save time and um, create economies of scale in your own business in servicing these local businesses so these obstacles for normal people will not be an obstacle for you because you're going to be using ads that are going to drive likes activity and engagement much faster than anything else and also um, you know you're going to be armed with the right skills to know how to use Facebook ads so you're not going to be wasting money and you're going to create um, a great sort of scale business where you can uh, have some efficiencies across all your clients so you're going to help their lo these local businesses with their challenges so what's the opportunity 
Well, you become the problem solver with a toolbox of solutions. Not many people know how to do this. This is a perfect opportunity for you to go in and solve their problems. So you can, you can with the right um, information and strategies and, and um, knowledge, get these local businesses results quickly and cheaply. It's actually quite easy to be the expert. And who doesn't want to solve people's problems? There's a high value attached to that. And this makes it a great platform to start your own business as a local marketing consultant. So target local businesses. Focus on one industry where you have some experience or contacts to get started. Perhaps you've had you know, a few jobs before or think about your previous career and who you came into contact there with there. Maybe you were in some other form of advertising or marketing role and you know of some printing businesses or you know how they like to market themselves or you've had clients before. Think about some of those industries or some of those businesses where you might already know someone who needs to be marketed on Facebook or who is already spending advertising and marketing dollars elsewhere. You can then convince them to start um, spending it on Facebook. So people that you know are generally the best people to start getting clients and get the ball rolling. That starts to you know, then build up your experience and then you start having a portfolio of clients to mention to new clients and it just snowballs from there. So any of your contacts or anybody that you know, you don't have to have worked for them or, you know, completely understand their industry inside out. But, um, and you can definitely cold call too. You can just, you know, email, um, Facebook can even be great for this if they already have a Facebook page, but it's not doing that well. You can message them directly on that Facebook page. So there's definitely lots of ways to pick up new business. But make sure that the industry that you focus on is suited to Facebook and it's going to be relatively easy for you to get them good results. Some B2B businesses take a little bit longer. So by B2B, I mean business to business. So businesses selling to other businesses. Sometimes if it's not you know, a highly desirable product, that can take a bit longer to get the results on Facebook. So you want to get some quick wins on the board and start with something with some industries that are well suited to Facebook. Retail is brilliant. Um, you know, fashion stores, restaurants, all that kind of stuff works really, really well. So um, bars, professional services and dentists can work really well on Facebook too. So start off with some of those that you know are going to work better on Facebook um, so that you can get the runs on the board, so to speak, and also get your confidence levels up so that you can get some really good results to show more customers um, or more potential clients when you go out and see them. How do you find them? One of the techniques that I like to use is I like to look in, um, you know, other forms of advertising. So perhaps look in newspaper and magazine advertising and then you know if you're seeing these businesses advertise um, or even in local television, but if you see these businesses advertise in newspaper, local newspaper, the metropolitan newspaper or something, you know they've got a bit of money to spend. So it makes it a lot easier that you can try and um, put an argument forward or not, you know, a case forward for them to transfer some of that spend across to Facebook, which it's a much, which is a much lower risk proposition for them to be doing that. Go to networking events. I've got um, had um, um, picked up so many clients from going to network events locally. You can go to your chamber of commerce um, or business association at breakfasts and um, networking events, and I'm sure you will find clients there because I definitely have. Use social media to reach out. Um, you know, one of the tools that I've used to get some um, some potential clients is that I look at my followers and likers on Twitter and Facebook, and when I see that they're obviously looking for this kind of information or information about Facebook marketing, I reach out to them, send them a tweet back. Hey, I noticed that you followed me. Thanks for the follow. If you're after, if I can help you at all in any way, please contact me and you'd be surprised but people will send something back and go oh yeah I'm really struggling with Facebook it's a great channel to pick up new business so don't neglect to look at um, you know who's been liking your page and who's been following you on Twitter 
Set up a list of leads to start connecting with. Start writing them all down. If you can't contact them straight away, prepare a nice list that you can keep running through and make one day a week your business development day. I mean, you should be doing business development daily, but if you're finding that you just don't have the time um, or, you know, it's making a, a, you've got other competing interests coming up, then set aside one morning or one day a week where you go through all those leads and you contact them and you, you know, harvest them as best you can. Start building a relationship with these people, even if it's just liking their Facebook page and leaving a few helpful comments, you know, set yourself up for a relationship. And that's where, speaking of relationships, referrals are the best source of new business. So, you know, tell people, tell your friends, tell anybody what you're doing. Tell them that you help businesses get noticed on Facebook and that, you know, you're open to receiving new clients and people will hopefully spread the word for you. So how about what you offer them? Well, once you have a target audience of businesses in mind, then set about developing your packages, like how, what are you actually going to offer? What can you service, you know, on your own? Do you need some help? Do you need to build up um, some staff to assist you with this? Or can you do it on your own? Are you going to be high priced? Are you going to be mid priced? Or are you going to be super, super cheap because you're outsourcing a lot of it? You know, that just depends on your overall strategy. But one of the best things to do is have at least sort of three packages positioned. So you start one um, at a nice entry level and then you've got one at a higher level than that that is a more comprehensive service and the the, um, third one is sort of something like sky's the limit, something so crazy you think no one would probably even buy it Um, and you'd obviously be ecstatic if they did. Um, That just positions the other two lower price products so you can definitely price higher and then work back from there. One of the best ways I find to create packages is to reverse engineer the best solution for your client. So put your, you know, put yourself in the shoes of a potential client. Maybe they're a restaurant and think about what do they want? They want more and more people coming in to dine at the restaurant, more bookings, more reservations, more people to think of them when they want to go somewhere to eat. So Think about, okay, well, what's going to be the best solution for them on Facebook? And it would likely be that they that you package up, that you do a Facebook page, that you um, manage their Facebook page for them. So you do all their posting, respond to any um, comments, questions, and um, then also do their Facebook advertising. And so set up a package of Facebook ads and you put your management fee and the management fee for posting on the page all together. So one of the best thing is don't break it down too much into, okay, this is what it is for Facebook ads. This is what it is to manage a Facebook page. Give them just one price and one solution um, that covers everything. And that's what I call, what I mean about reverse engineering the best solution. Put together the best possible solution and go and show them. When you give clients too many options, they get confused and tend to not make a decision. And you don't want that to happen. So make sure these are really easy packages to push the button or to say yes to. So pricing. Now this depends on your experience, on um, you know what what capacity your customers have to pay. But I can guarantee if you've you've done the right work on understanding who your customer is and what their challenges are, and what kind of budgets they've already got, you're going to be able to charge you know the price that's right for you. The other thing is take a look at how much you need to be making an hour or a week to live the life that you want to live, and then stick to that. Don't make everything bargain basement because you don't feel confident and you, and you don't think you'll get clients. If you do the work and make sure you know what you're talking about and that you can actually deliver these off, uh, this, these services, then you can charge a fair amount. So, <clears throat> for example, I charge about $900 a month for Facebook ad campaign management. Um, I charge additional for page posting and monitoring on a page, about $1,500 a month. Um, I produce landing pages on Facebook. Facebook for people and their Facebook ad campaigns, that's about 500 to 700. I might run a contest for people, that might be another one off fee of 1500. But I can tell you, I've got lots of clients that are more like two and a half thousand a month, or even um, some at 5,000 a month, because I give them a much higher level of service and we cover everything. And if we need to do more landing pages, then that's included in that cost. So I do read the client and, and see you know, what capacity they've got, what level of service they require. 
and then price it accordingly so that I know that I'm not picking up clients that I'm going to be annoyed that I've got because I'm not making money out of and they're really demanding. So I make sure I, ta um, I you know, match it up to the amount of hours and time that it's going to take me. So that's just a bit of an indication of what I do. Then you know you can you can set your own standard with this. So what are your key messages to the clients? Make sure that you know these. That you're always that you're going to know uh, understand after a while of speaking to local businesses that there's going to be a set of common object, um, objections that they come up with all the time. So just write those down and start working out some key messages to overcome those objections each time. Most of the time is oh, I don't have the budget. Well, did you know Facebook is cheaper than your normal media? Did you know Facebook is you know 25% of the cost? of the, putting an ad in the local paper and I saw that you were advertising there last week. You could stop your ad next week and we could do some Facebook and we could see just you know what kind of um, reaction and um, results we could get for you. So you know that's a big one I often um, I put out to people so they so put out to my potential clients so they know they can reallocate their current spending. So they can get more customers fast and find out more about their current customers. This is a really good point that they don't get with other media is that Facebook is a great market research tool. You can say to them that you can come back with monthly reports or weekly reports telling them what, um, what type of uh, customers are reacting best to the advertising messages. So not only the advertising messages, but you can look in your Facebook page insights report. So you can, if you're advertising, you can look in your Facebook page advertising report. There's a little report in there called a demographic responder report, which will show you the age and location of the people who are most, um, most engaging with the ads. And then Facebook page insights will also give you that type of information, like who is liking the page. And that is like free market research. So this is another um, important message to get across to your potential clients. So, whoops, I just went the wrong way there. I put there, oh no, sorry, I'm just, just giving, I thought that was the one we'd just done, but um, it's this is actually just ideas of how to put together, you know, a few of these great packages that I was talking about. So you can add Twitter management in there too. I mean, if you're doing their Facebook page, you know, doing their Twitter is, is relatively easy to add on top and you can charge anything um, between about $1,500 to $3,000 a month for that kind of package. A training package, so maybe they don't want you to do it for them, maybe they have a marketing person on staff but they just don't have the knowledge. So you could offer to train their team and um, you know that leverages your time too and you get paid a, a set amount. Obviously you don't get the ongoing fees for the work but if they perhaps weren't looking for that in the first place, you could have a few of these a week and that could definitely bolster your income. Workshops are a similar thing. Create some workshops um, even with your local um, council or business association and um, charge you know $250 a person to, to teach small business owners who don't have a very big marketing budget at all how to do this stuff. You could also look at having um, video training on your site that you can charge a membership for for local businesses. So you know you can get creative if they if you don't think that um, you know many businesses are going to be paying fifteen hundred to three thousand for your services. Maybe there's another way of packaging it up and offering what you know. Use social media as your advertising. So practice what you preach and maintain an effective presence. There's nothing worse than someone coming to sell a business social media when they haven't even got, um, you know, clear leadership in this area. They, you know, people will Google you. People will want to look at your Facebook page. So show them how to how it's done by making sure that you maintain a you know brilliant Facebook page with lots of engagement and lots of likes and um, interactions and lots of regular posts so don't have a Facebook page where you're not posting regularly on it either so um, another thing is building your own email list is very important so an email list of local businesses or a way for them to a way for you to contact them regularly and that's what email is and that's great on top of your Facebook page use Facebook ads to get these um, numbers up so use them to get your businesses to the Facebook page or your you know your targeted businesses to the Facebook page and also get them to sign up for something a free report or you know perhaps it's a free strategy session um, that that way you could sell them into it um, 
face to face, either via be it face to face or maybe a Skype meeting. Um, but basically, what's most important is position yourself as an expert, and in order in order to do that, you need to have a strong social media profile as well. So once you decide on your specialisation, decide where you'll be positioned. So um, what I mean by that is are you going to be um, a very exclusive consultant and only have a limited number of high paying clients or are you going to go for volume and a cheaper price? That really depends on who your ideal client is and how much money you need to make. So um, that's a decision only you can make, but it's just something to think about too. So also compare to the competition, compare to what else is out there in the market that people can access. But don't bog yourself down in that too much because you're you, you've got unique value to bring to these local businesses and um, you know don't, don't let all that slow you down. Just get out there and get started. It's the best way to start making money from local businesses. So just a couple of tips on managing campaigns effectively. If you start to get very a lot, you know, a large number of clients, you may want to look at a Facebook ads management software that saves you time in optimizing and um, getting the best value out of out of your clients' Facebook ads. Post Planner is another tool where you can schedule um, posts and they actually give you post ideas to post on the page. So, you know, it's almost like a little content creation tool. Facebook now has a scheduling option which allows you to schedule up to six months worth of posts, which makes life a lot easier. But Post Planner is a good option for um, just generating some post ideas because sometimes it's, it's really hard to do that. But um, that's why I also suggest doing a bit of an editorial calendar where, you know, you draw up posts well in advance. Basecamp is a great project management system um, that you can share with your clients. So that um, you can upload files, they can upload files to you and this is handy if they've got logos or images. You can also arrange to-dos, calendars that put um, key events in there and if you're outsourcing or you've got members of your team this is a great way to manage them too. So just on those resources <clears throat> you might um, be looking for some great landing page creation resources. So in that case, go to that first reference there, which is fbagqueen.com forward slash Lejure. They're a drag and drop um, landing page creation service that you can do up some great landing pages for your clients that you can send the ad traffic to, which enables them to take a different action than just going to the Facebook page. Um, there's also my online training that's going to give you everything that you need to know about Facebook ads, and that's fb agqueen.com forward slash sell more. If you're looking for some assistance in um, you know, prepare, um, getting your Facebook ads, um, Facebook pages, sorry, set up and you've managed your Facebook ads, you can pretty much find everything on fiverr.com. So you might need some logos designed, you might need some Facebook ads created. You can do that on Facebook, uh, on fiverr.com as well. People write out copy and all that kind of stuff too. So think of that as a good resource. The base, uh, the base camp project management system is actually, you can find that at 37, 37 signals.com um, that's a monthly subscription to that but that's a really helpful tool there's also the post planner tool that I mentioned and if you're looking for a relatively cheap ad software once you get a, a good number of um, clients then uh, take a look at Quire Q-W-A-Y-A -A. so um, like I said, where do you, you know, a lot of people say, well, where do you get referrals from? Um, I talked about going to the events, but you might also find some other contractors and consultants out there who have um, a synergy with what you're doing, but they're not competing. I, um, examples of this are firms that do a lot of SEO, or maybe they do Google pay-per-click advertising. You could reach out to them and say, hey, you know what, I, I'm specializing in Facebook ads. Um, you know, perhaps that might suit your clients, or maybe I can do the Facebook ads component for you without the client interface and you can pay me um, a lower rate than my normal packages because I won't be dealing with the client direct. So that's another option. Um, like I talked about before, online marketing and using social media to reach out to new clients and strategic alliance and joint ventures um, work very well as well. So um, you know there are other people out there that have a list of your ideal clients. You've just got to start reaching out. How else can you move forward? Well, you know, this is my um, program and the online training that I mentioned before, which is called Sell More with Facebook Ads in Just 30 Days. But really what it's all about is a complete Facebook advertising training so that you can get schooled in all things Facebook ads and understand how to manage campaigns for your clients and get paid for it. 
So what do you get with this training? We get instant access. So the, your quick start module gets you set up with everything that you need with the right kind of foundation to start a great and effective ad campaign. Module one, I'll teach you all about finding your ideal target customer on Facebook. And that might mean obviously in, in the client's inter, interests, uh, their ideal customer. Clearly defining the message, like working out what things work specifically on Facebook. It's a different medium than other advertising opportunities and you need to know how to tailor your um, messages um, to make sure that they work and uh, get clicked on. Module 3 is all about planning and creating super effective ads. Like I said, I take you through all the detail. You'll know exactly how to do what I do at the end of this program because the last module is one of the most important ones. It's all about optimizing your campaigns to get the best return on investment and get the lowest cost per click and the most um, response to your campaigns. So in order to see more about what this program is, um, go to www.com fbadqueen.com forward slash sell more and then it's all the details are listed there along with a bit of a video of inside the membership area too. So that's really all I've got to share with you about um, you know giving you an idea of how to really get out there and start your own business or add this to your current local marketing business all about um, getting out there and offering Facebook ads to local businesses. It is a great opportunity. It is a way to just start making a really, really good salary um, in a relatively short period of time. But you do need to get the foundations right and get your knowledge up on it. It's a bit of a um, you know a platform that does take um, you know knowledge to master um, but you can do it in a relatively short period of time if you come to the experts for help so um, stop by my Facebook page make sure you come and say hi if you've got any questions please ask them ask them there you can come to www.fb.com forward slash ad queen page my name is Victoria Gibson and I hope you have a great day